Hi, this is Tony Papajohn from MoneyMindWorks.com. So let's say that you are faced with an opportunity, that something's come up to either further your business or to maybe go in another direction, or you've got some choice to make here. Do I pass or do I play with the opportunity that is in front of me right now? Uh, could be anything, could be a whole lot of different things. I'm sure that it's happened to you. If it hasn't happened to you already, it's maybe happening to you right now or it's going to happen to you tomorrow. So how do you make a decision like this? First of all, let me tell you that the primary tool with which we make business decisions is our intuition. In the world of fortune seeking, you can't have all the information necessary to make the best possible decision. You just can't know everything. There's just too many things outside the realm of that which you could possibly know. And if you're the kind of person that's got to analyze and analyze and research and research and research in great likelihood, you're going to do nothing anyway because it'll take you, the whole project will not be uh, what decision do I make, the whole project's going to be can I gather more and more and more and more information. At some point, there's a point of diminishing returns. At some point, you got to make a decision and get on with things. And the primary tool for doing that is intuition. So the technique I'm going to share with you very simply just fires up your intuition. And as you trust your mind with the information that's available through your imagination, you'll come to the best decision that you can make at the time. And you know what? If you made the wrong decision, you just got to make another one. But this is the best that you can do right at the time because life goes on. We can't you know, sit around all day thinking about things. At some point, we got to say pass or play. So, suppose that you decide, yeah, I'm going to play. I'm going to take this opportunity. I'm going to go with this whatever proposition is in front of me. So, here's two ways to use your imagination to explore this possibility. So, as you trust your mind and as you make a picture in your mind's eye, imagine the best that could happen. What's the best that could happen? As I say, yes, I'm going to take this opportunity, whatever it is. Let your mind make that picture. Now, ask yourself, okay, if I, pay, if I play on this, if I take this opportunity, what's the worst that could happen? And let your mind make a picture of the worst that could happen. Ooh. Are you willing to live with that? Maybe. If so, that's a good thing to know. Conversely, let's just say that you decide that, yeah, well, maybe the option of uh, I'm going to pass. Because just because an opportunity comes your way doesn't mean that you have to take it. You may not be suited for the opportunity. You may not be, uh, you may be too busy with other things. Who knows? So let's just say that you want to consider on this menu of possibilities that's in front of us. You might want to consider I'm going to pass. So as you let your mind think about passing, build a mental picture of what's the best that could happen when you say, I'm going to pass, I'm not going to play. Let your mind make a picture of that and say, well, you know, yeah, that, that makes, that's good. I can, I can see that. Now, let your mind make a picture of the possibility that says, I'm going to pass on this opportunity, let your mind make a picture of what's the worst that could happen. So you stand pat, and the worst happens. What picture does that bring into your mind's eye? So you've about covered all of the possibilities. So which picture do you resonate with? The picture that says, I'm going to play, and the best that's going to happen I'm going to play and the worst is going to happen. Or I'm going to pass and the best that can happen is what picture and let that picture come to your mind and how do you resonate with that. And I'm going to pass and the worst thing that happens is what? Let your mind make a picture of that. And then as you get a feel for each one of those four pictures, I'm sure that you're going to discover that one of them 
just sort of feels like, yeah, that's the thing to do. Because that, that looks good to me, or that I just can't live with, or I don't have a good feeling about this, or yeah, I got a good feeling about this one. Trust your mind. And then make your decision. And then whatever you do, take decisive action. Either standing pat and working on the things that are already on your plate, or taking this opportunity, doing great and good things with it, realizing that, yeah, maybe things could happen that aren't going to be so good. But if you resonate with the picture that says this is the best that could happen, then go with that. Conversely, if you know what, I think I'll pass because the worst that could happen is I get sidetracked and, oh, that makes me just kind of, gives me a little shiver, then maybe that's telling you something too. Trust your mind. And as you trust your mind, you'll make good decisions and you'll make a lot of money. My name is Tony Papajan. I invite you to take my free nine-part video series that will empower your mind for more success and more money at moneymindworks.com. And you'll find my blog at yourmoneymindworks.com. You can find free teleseminar listings there. In the meantime, trust your mind and prime your mind to follow your intuition. And your intuition will lead you to a lot of money.